would speak to this nation and to this people to know that my eyes is upon the fallen my eyes is upon the evil that has tried to take the land okay folks if the lord is telling you i have a message for you to tell my people tell them thus saith the lord thus I am t thus saith me. I would think that the Lord Jesus Christ, being a master and creator of all languages, would know better than to say, my eyes is. Listen, saying my eyes is, or my hands is, or my ears is, is very common in Southern language, which tells me this is Timothy Dixon speaking, and this is not the Lord. I would think that the Lord would have better command of the English language. But know that I speak this day and I speak this hour that I'll bring forth a shaking in the heavens. The very heavens and the very atmosphere shall shake, saith the Lord. False prophets tend to have favorite phrases that they use. Shaking, I'll shake the heavens, I'll shake the world, because that could really mean anything. That could mean anything from earthquake, that could mean shaking society, that could be uh, somebody dies and the structure of power is shaken. It can mean anything you want it to mean. Same thing with a whirlwind. It could mean a tornado. It could mean a change in, in uh, government philosophy, such as maybe the left or the right. It could mean anything. So when these false prophets talk about, oh, there'll be a great shaking, or there'll be a whirlwind, or my hand is upon, that's, that's false prophet speak. That's that's because it moves the people to think God is about to take action. And when it doesn't happen, they can apply it to anything to try to prove to you that it really did happen. This is just false prophet speak. July the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th, my hand shall reign across the heavens. And you'll know that the power has been displayed. I'll bring forth a change in the atmosphere. I'll bring a display, much like the modern of the 4th of July, but it'll be a display of my fireworks. Okay, folks, did you catch that? This is supposed to happen. God is supposed to shake the atmosphere and he is going to have a display in the atmosphere which rivals humans, or Americans really, uh, firework celebrations. Now he says, you just heard it, the 4th, the 5th, and the 6th of July, 2021. Now you can see the date, I showed you a picture earlier, of when he produced this, when, when he made this video public. He probably had the dream, dream, um, a couple days before or a day before, I think is what normally happens when he produces his videos. He specifically says, you heard it. But see, in a later video that I'll share, he comes back and, and tries to tell you what it really meant. Folks, be very wary of a prophet who, when their prophecies don't come true, try to explain that, well, you just didn't understand. It, it happened in a way too high of a level for you to understand it. For the power of God shall shake cross Nashville on the 4th. How rain, saith the Lord, on that day. So here the Lord, through Timothy Dixon, says 
on that day, that day, I will reign. Well, what has the Lord been doing in the time since creation and even before creation? What has he been doing then? Wasn't he reigning? The definition of reign says to hold royal office, rule as king or queen. Listen, if, if the Lord is just now waiting to reign, I mean, I'm kind of upset. I, I would have thought that he would have maybe told us through Paul that he reigned or one of the other apostles or maybe Moses. I mean, gosh, he, he waited till July 4th of 2021 to reign? Nice job, Timothy. I've heard your prayers and I've heard, heard the cries of America. I've heard the cries of the people of the foreign land. I've heard the cries of Canada, saith the Lord God. And I'll move in an hour that you'll think not. So the Lord is going to move in an hour that we think not. Well, he just told us that it's going to be in the hours of July 4th, 5th, and 6th of 2021. That kind of narrows it down. See, this is more false prophet speak. Please tell me that you're understanding this. This does not make sense. This is not the way the Lord would speak to, to anyone. Now listen, you can be Calvinist and think that the Lord doesn't speak verbally or in, in, in a small, still voice, I know, which is external, not internal, or even internal or, or something like that. Or you can be Armenian. And, and to be honest with you, I'm somewhere in between. I, I, I see kind of both, both points of some subjects. I'm not saying God can't speak through a human being. Trust me, God can do anything he wants. He absolutely could do it. He may not do it, but he could. But you've got to believe that God can speak better than this, okay? It's just, it's a no-brainer, folks. But this is supposed to happen in an hour when we think not, but yet he gave us the parameter of when it's supposed to happen. See, he doesn't, he can't keep up with what he says when he gets into this, this trance of, oh, the Lord is moving through me. It's moving through me and out to you and into your ears. He can't keep up with it. In fact, some places in this video, you see he gets frustrated because he just says something that he knows he shouldn't have said, or he gets tongue-tied. I mean, he almost said heard a minute ago. I heard the cry of my people. He caught himself. Look, this is just a no-brainer, folks. I'll move, saith the Lord, even in a day, in an hour, instantly, saith God, I'll bring forth a change. I'll bring it forth overnight, saith the Lord, that you'll not be able to gain, say, or resist. Here he narrows it down even further. Not only is it going to be between July 4th, 5th, and 6th in the year of 2021, but it's going to be overnight. Now, we don't know whose night that is. Is that Israel's night? Is that Australia's night? Is that America's night? I don't know. It's kind of ambiguous, but it's overnight. See, he's trapping himself. He's trying to speak like the Bible speaks, but he can't pull it off because it doesn't make sense because the Bible is Holy Spirit inspired, and this is not. It, it's, it's just not. You can't tell me that when he says, thus saith the Lord, it has the same unity, structure, and power as the Holy Spirit working through those who actually wrote the word of God down on paper. Lord, I'll bring down the nations that's come against my word. I'll bring down the lands that's come against my word, my power. But this is the hour of, of great, great deliverance. This is the hour of repentance across the world. And then I shall come, I shall return, saith the Lord Almighty. Ladies and gentlemen, Timothy Dixon just predicted the rapture. I mean, what a man of God. What a true prophet. He predicted the rapture for July 4th, 5th, or 6th in the year of our Lord, 2021. Except.
He's on a roll. He feels it. So he can say whatever he wants. Because he's a prophet of God. I hear you, sheep. You would like to. I'll cause the, the oceans to shake. I'll cause the oceans to bring forth and roar. The storms, saith the Lord, shall come that shall never be heard of ever again in history. For the power and the winds that shall blow shall come forth and break the exceeding, break the history and break the records of the hurricanes that shall blow forth out of the Atlantic and up across the basin, saith the Lord. That was painful to watch. Um, I don't think record-setting hurricanes, at least not in the United States, no tsunamis, none of that, none of that tore up America on July 4, 5, and 6 in the year 2021. I mean, the Lord kind of lost what, what he was trying to say. I'm speechless. This is, this is embarrassing. See, this is, what gets me, this is what gets me so riled up. Here it is, Mr. Dixon, and all you little Dixon sheep. Be quiet for a minute. When people like Dixon do this nonsense, the Bible clearly says it makes it harder to witness to people. Because when you then try to witness to these people who watch Timothy Dixon, they make a mockery of all of it. They clump up what Timothy's doing with true Christian outreach. And the Bible clearly says that they, don't, they, they, they become as Sodom and Gomorrah to God. They won't come to God because of what people like Timothy Dixon are doing. Shame on you. Potentially, you are causing souls to harden their hearts against God, and they will pay for it. The church bells are ringing. Hear, saith the Lord, open your ears and open your eyes to the sound of the trumpet. For Zion brings forth a trumpet. Blow the trumpet, saith the Lord. Ring forth the bell. The liberty, saith God, ring, blow. Blow, saith the Lord of hosts. Blow the trumpets in my holy habitation for revival and liberty has come. Liberty, saith the Lord. I'll take down this evil. It shall fall in an hour, saith God. So, I guess God took all the evil down in one hour sometime on July 4th, 5th, or 6th of the year 2021. Well, um, we still have a lot of injustice on the earth, a lot of uh, satanic activity. Guess he got it wrong again. You'll know that there's a God in heaven, that there's none like me in all the earth. There are many gods. But there's one true God, and I am that I am. So God just admitted that there are many gods. And then Timothy caught what he said. And then he corrected it, or God through Timothy corrected it, saying, but I am the one true God. No, there are not many gods. There are many idols. There are many idols, but there is no other God except for our God. Timothy Dixon, you, you can't control what you're saying. And that tells me that God is not saying it through you. There's the sheep again. I know you're upset. I'm sorry, but truth hurts sometimes. Your young men shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. I'll pour out my spirit in this day upon my handmaids. For this is the hour of the Joel revival. Many have said that it shall not come that it's past. But know that I, the Lord, shall spring forth speedily. And you'll know that the greatest revival that's ever shook the earth, that's ever been in history, is coming now. It's now upon you. All right, well, the Lord's spoken. The greatest revival to ever take place started uh, July 4, 5, and 6 of the year 2021. Anyone? Anyone other than the sheep? No, I didn't think so. 
Open your eyes, saith the Lord of hosts. I'll shake Washington, D.C. in the coming event. My spirit shall stand up, saith God. I'll speak, and my words shall instantly come to pass in the men and women and the prophets that I've raised up in this hour. The word shall come to pass immediately, saith God, as they raise up their voices and raise up their staves and raise up this word in this hour. You'll know, you'll know that I have spoke through them. You'll know that my word has come upon you. I'll make, I'll make a man more precious than gold. His word shall speak saith God, and it shall come to pass immediately. My word shall ring and rain, and upon when that word goes out of the mouths of the prophets in this hour, you'll know that I'm God, because I'll rain down the fire and the brimstone of the Holy Ghost, and the Spirit shall stretch out across the lands, and I'll cause the red tide to rain. Did Timothy Dixon just predict that my SEC rivals were going to win another championship. I mean, the red tide raining and be a long year for Auburn folks. You'll know that I am God. I'll shake China. I'll shake Japan. I'll shake every city, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, I'll rain, Youngstown, Ohio. Oh, I'm coming with revival. I'm coming with revival, saith the Lord of hosts. Florida, I'll hit from the from I-10 to Miami, saith the Lord. I'll shake every town and every village, every place, all down through the Seminole and the Choctaw, saith the Lord, the Chickasaw. I'll rain, saith the Lord, and I'll hit the Cuban. Hallelujah. My spirit shall rain forth across the land. Oh, hear me today. Hear me today. For in Nashville, Nashville, I'll blow the sounds of the trumpets. I'll blow the sounds of the trumpets. Folks, does that sound like something Jesus would say? First of all, I, I, I could be wrong. I don't think I've seen anywhere in the Bible where Jesus blows a trumpet. And it's blowing a trumpet, not blowing the sounds of a trumpet. You notice just before this, he got tied up in Nashville. Going to preach there anytime soon, Mr. Dixon. How shake Atlanta, Georgia. My spirit shall reign. I'll shake the officials of Atlanta. I'll cause them to fall upon your knees. I'll cause them to fall upon your knees. Okay. I'm raising up men and women that you've never heard of to speak my word. This is the day of Elijah. This is the day of Moses. Saith God, I've chosen a few for this hour. They'll march forth, saith God, with stabs and words in their hands, and the power of God shall shake the ocean. In case you haven't noticed, Timothy thinks very highly of prophets, of which he is one. Thinks very highly of himself. So much that when they speak, they're going to split the earth.
heavens, said it the Lord, I'll shake the atmosphere. The earth shall split at their word. And the words has come forth and caused the oceans to roar and mold. And the animals shall blow across the lands and the animals and the fowls of the air shall be at a discord because of the power that goes across the land. Hear me today, saith the Lord. I spring forth a new word and a spirit of revival. You'll see the hands of death shall go come through the capital and through the politicians because they have failed to give heed. I've given them time and time attend I've called and I've called them to repent and turn from the evilness that they're trying to bring forth and they do not believe therefore I'll turn them over to an unreprobate mind that they believe their lies and they'll be damned for the love of the truth is not in their hearts they've turned and they've refused to hear my counsel refused to hear my word and the news shall be blown hallelujah out of the way they shall try to hide and hide and hide but i'll overturn it saith the lord the word of the people shall spread forth like a mighty wind mighty mighty wind saith god shall spring forth in this nation for i'm bringing back saith god one that shall stand again the remainder of the four years that I've called him to be the president. And it'll cost them eight, 12, even 12 more years, saith God. It'll, it'll cost, it'll cost because of the things that you've done. And the nation shall turn to the Republican side because of the sins, because of the trust that you've broken saith the Lord God I bring revival hear me saith the Lord a great revival is coming to Griffin Georgia it's coming saith the Lord God I'll do miracles in Griffin that you've not seen you've not beheld in times in times of the recent histories and it shall go forth saith the Lord and all my men and the women and the handmaids and the prophets and apostles the evangelists how bring forth the fivefold ministry shall stand with a great power oh hear me today Hear me, saith the Lord. Blow your trumpets. Sound the alarm in my holy habitation. This is the hour of great revival. This is the hour of the turnaround and the comeback. I'll bring it back, saith God. I'll stop this recessed evil. It's upon this nation. You'll know I'm God. For the Lord Almighty, God has spoken.